Hey guys, have you ever fallen in love with a piece of farmhouse furniture, but then you look at the price tag and realize it's way expensive? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the same look for way less. The first step in completing this project is actually having a piece of furniture to paint. Now next week I'll go into more specifics about where I find my furniture and the things that I look for, either when I'm looking for something for myself or to sell. But today the pieces that we're working on are two nightstands and just generally when I'm looking for this furniture, I'm looking for number one, solid wood. Uh, number two, that it has metal handles. And then number three, that it has dovetail drawers. Dovetail drawers are really a good sign that it's a high quality piece of furniture. All right, this piece I found on Facebook Marketplace. Let's go check it out. As you can see, this piece of furniture fit my three criteria. It is made of solid oak. It has dovetail drawers. And though you can't see the handles, they were made of metal. One of the most important steps is to thoroughly clean your furniture. I just use a disinfecting wipe from Great Value and just wipe down all of the furniture to remove any residue. Make sure to get in all of the cracks because any of this residue left behind could potentially discolor your nice white paint. Once the furniture is clean, it's already time to start painting. I chose to use a chalk paint in Simply White from Michaels. The great thing about chalk paint is that it is a kind of a mix between a plaster and a paint. So it has really great cover and requires no sanding and no stripping of the furniture. With this white though, you can see that we're gonna need about two coats. Here is what it looked like after one coat. Don't freak out if you see tons of splotches and you see all of your brush marks. All this will disappear with a second coat and with some sanding. So here is the finish after two coats. You can see that it's a lot better coverage, even in white with chalk paint, only two coats. Now chalk paint in and of itself is not very smooth, so it's going to require some sanding. For the first round of sanding, I use a 160 grit piece of sandpaper. My goal for this first round is just to smooth out all of the surfaces to get that velvety matte finish. Once the first round of sanding is complete, I then go back and focus on distressing the chalk paint. To do this, I use a higher grit, around 100 grit sandpaper, and really focus my intention on taking chunks of paint away from the edges of the furniture. It's really important to only focus on the edges because this is where the natural wear and tear would occur. And you want your piece to look like it was naturally aged, not like someone was just sanding it down. So if you focus on those edges, you're gonna end up with this beautiful, rustic farmhouse look. To protect your chalk paint, the last step you need to do is seal it with wax. I used a clear wax from Michaels. I would not suggest a white wax as the white had a yellow tint to it that ruined the white color that I wanted. But just take a little bit, put it on a rag, and begin to rub it in to all the crevices all over your furniture. And this just creates that smooth, silky finish. All right guys, so there you have it, a piece of DIY farmhouse furniture. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll also catch you next week when I'll be talking about where I find my furniture and the specific types of things I look for to make sure I'm getting quality pieces that will make good furniture flips. Catch you next time.